Let's take a look at this brief exercise where we're going to utilize a constrained resource. I'll read it to you. Barlow Company manufactures three products, A, B, and C. The selling price, variable cost, and contribution margin for one unit of each product appear in that blue table. So right here you see the information. Okay. The same raw material is used in all three products. Barlow Company has only 5,000 of 5,000 pounds of raw material on hand and will not be able to obtain any more of it for several weeks due to a strike at its supplier's plant. Management is trying to decide which product to concentrate on next week and filling its backlog of orders. The material cost is $8 per pound. Okay, requirement one says compute the amount of contribution margin that will be obtained per pound of material used in each product. All right, so here's how you solve this one. I'll just slide over the answer here. All right, so right there on the screen is the answer. Um, oh, let me move this to the back. And now we see that on the answer screen. Okay, so in this box here, what do we know? The contribution margin is given as $54.108.60. That's what you see right here, here, and here, taken from these values right there. Right, the direct material cost is 24, 72, and 32. We drop that in. Um, the direct material cost per pound is eight dollars. Okay. Um, so if we were to compute the pounds of material required per unit, we would take the direct material cost per pound and divide it by the direct material. I'm, let me say that again. The direct material cost per unit and divide it by the direct material cost per pound and when you do that you will be converting dollars into units so the pounds of material required per unit become three nine and four then we simply divide the contribution margin by the pound because that's the pounds are the constrained resource we get eighteen twelve and fifteen so it looks like a is our best bet Okay, next, number two says, which order would you recommend that the company work on next week? The orders for A, B, or C, and show your computations. All right, so let me slide those answers again up here, and hopefully it'll appear up top now. So there was our answer to number one, right? And then the answer to number two, I'll just put right on top of the screen, right in this area be below there. Um, we calculated 18, 12, and 15, so we should... Um, Take the 5,000. Let me let me step back. Although A has the lowest contribution margin per unit and the second lowest contribution ratio, it's preferred over the others because it's, it has the greatest amount of contribution margin per pound of material. Right. So 18, 12, and 15, we go in that order. So we would want to make, um, you know, 90,000. If we only we well, we would we would result in a contribution of 90,000 if we made A then 60,000 if we made B and 75,000 um, uh, if we made C. So um, that tells us what we need. And we should focus on making A. Okay, then 3 says a foreign supplier could furnish Barlow with additional stocks of the raw material at a substantial premium over the usual price. If there is unfilled demand for all three products, what's the highest price that Barlow company should pay or the company should be willing to pay for an additional pound of material? All right. Well, the company should be or you know, should be willing to pay per pound for additional raw material what that price is it depends on how the material would be used if there are unfilled orders for all products Barlow would presumably use the additional raw materials to make more of product A for the reasons we've already gone over right each material uh, generates eighteen dollars per contribution margin over and above the usual cost of raw materials so it should be willing to pay up to what is it? Twenty-six dollars per pound, which would be eight dollars for the usual price, plus an eighteen-dollar contribution uh, contribution margin per pound. See how you're coming up with that? Um, now, even though that's the most, it would of course prefer to pay far less. So the upper limit of twenty-six dollars 
per pound to manufacture more product A signals to managers how valuable additional raw materials are to the company. If all of the orders for product A have been filled, Barlow Company would then use additional raw materials to manufacture product C. Um, and that's because C has you know the second highest contribution margin, right? Fifteen dollars. And the company would be willing to pay up to twenty-three dollars, which is the eight dollar usual price, plus the fifteen contribution per amount per pound. Again, wanting to pay much less, but that would be the uh, ceiling. And um, and it would pay up to twenty dollars to make B, right? Eight dollars plus twelve. 